Yo, what's up guys, it's Kobia here, and today I'm bringing to you another commentary. Today what we're going to be talking about is a lot of things. First of all, I want to say is that it's going to be a little bit of a longer video, so if you'd stick with me, that'd be great. And then next to what I want to talk about is something I forgot to say last video. What I really want you guys to do, or if you guys could, that'd be great, is leave a like, subscribe, favorite, follow me on Twitter, and yeah. So first, basically, the most important one of those which I would like to see is comments. If you guys can leave me comments, that'd be great. Help me improve my channel and tell me any criticism you have or anything you would like me to do in the future. I'm pretty open to anything. I'll talk about most things, so just let me know. And if you ever have a question, you can always hit me up on Twitter. So yeah, first one I want to talk about is just a general update. Uh, I've been sick lately, so I didn't really want to uh, record and I didn't have a video uploaded, or ready to upload, shall I say. So I didn't really upload one, but I'm doing this. My voice is really bad. It, it, the, the commentary wouldn't have been very good. So, yeah. Uh, but my team, I don't know. It's, a, it's not going too well right now. Uh, we're going through a rebuilding process. Uh, I guess I'll just tell you about what happened. So we had a solid team of four, as you saw. It was the four players in that um, hard point that I posted on her, uh, Detroit. We looked very dominant, as you saw. And what sort of happened was um, one of our players, I would almost say sketched or something. He has a friend that we used to team with, and he's really very hard to team with due to the fact that he always screams and yells and always complains, and he honestly doesn't even have anything to show for it. Like, he's a quote-unquote slayer, but me and my teammates always talk about how when he does slay, he doesn't really even slay, honestly. He'll just kill them off spawn and get pointless kills that don't even help us win the game, which isn't really what we were looking forward to. He sort of just parted ways with us, and I mean, him leaving, it wasn't the worst. Uh, we've gave him a lot of tries. He's sort of been on and off about everything and stuff, but I'm alright with that. Uh, he actually, I think it could help us maybe him leaving, to be honest. He really lost composure and lost us a lot of games, to be honest. Like, he would scream, and it would just throw the whole team off, and he would not call out or anything. Uh, yeah, and he would get really angry if he lost a 1v1, which you can't, that can't happen to you. So right now, we're a team of two. Uh, we're thinking about picking these two guys up for the, uh, with our org. Uh, let's, I'll keep you guys updated, honestly. I'm just trying to get a solid team right now that will stay together. I don't really want to have any of my team changes. I just want to get a solid team and just get dominant, start running online tourneys, and then start traveling. Yeah. So what I actually want to talk about today is maintaining composure, which goes really well with this game because we get on 2-5, as you see. And we bring it back, we clutch up, we win a 5-5, five, five. I don't know, we win a 6-5, sorry. I was going to do this video um, a few days ago, but it didn't really sound too well because of my voice. Yeah, and at the time we were still teaming, so like, it had a little bit more to it. I was like, I would really like, like, went in depth on like, my teammates and like, everything they did, but like, I don't know if I want to do that right now, like, those te two teammates kind of sketched, or only only one of them sketched, the other one uh, decided to leave, and I think quit competitive, I don't know, for whatever reason, I think it was an internet problem, and he was not having fun, because he was just getting too shotted, he said, which I respect fully, but yeah, so g getting into maintaining composure, it's a very huge part of this game, it's probably like 50% of the game, honestly. If you can maintain your composure and you have decent gun skill, oh, you, you'll be you'll be dominant at this game. If you get good internet and you can do that, oh, you you you're dominant. Like you won't lose a gunfight, honestly. The game literally is all composure and gun skill and internet. Actually, yeah, internet's a pretty big part, but uh, that's not really. I don't want to get into that and go on a huge rant about internet today. I just got it joked they're speaking of internet that's like a good example of it i just got melted i don't even know i didn't miss any shots but yeah anyways maintaining composure i 
this used to be a big problem for me, honestly. In Ghost, I grinded Ghost. That's when I started competitive, basically. Like, actually doing GBs and stuff. So, towards the beginning, I wasn't very good. And towards the middle, I started getting good. And I grinded out S&D. And then, I found about wagers and stuff midway through. And I just started running them. And I would, I got so much better at S&D. And... I would literally, when we played, uh, when we got our team and we just played TL, I was like the S and D guy. Like, I would, I would consistently drop at least 12 plus a game. And what I would do, like, if I got in a 1v3 situation, like, I, I knew I was getting, I was clutching that. 1v3s are easy, like, especially in Ghost when you kill one, you get that 1v2. Especially if bomb, if you, if they, you have bombed down, it's easy. Just kill one, and they're just gonna do. Either just gonna one's bait and one kills you, or one hops on bomb, one protects him, and both of those are really easy situations. So what I would, what would happen honestly in Ghost, and got me so angry, and I would lose my composure, which I fixed right now. Is if I did not get a one v, like if I, if I was in a one v three situation and I did not get it. Oh, I would get heated at myself. I would get very mad. And I would just lose my composure because it would really affect my game and it would throw me off. I'd be like, I'd be like, damn. Like, if it was like 0-1 and it was a defense, I was like, we should have won that. We should have clutched up. We should have been up 1-0. Or it could have been like a game changer. It could have been like a round 11. And like, sure, you can say like, your teammate should have stayed up or something. But in reality, like, I'm... An S and I was an S and D god at the time. Well, I still am. I just haven't. I've been focusing more on respawn lately, which I actually am getting back in. I've been getting back into wagers a bit, and I have a few dubs wagers that I may upload. Pretty fun game plays with my teammates, or no, not my teammates. Uh, my future teammates, maybe. That uh, I'll let you guys know in the future about if they are gonna be teaming with us. We should have that up to you and out to you guys probably in the next few days i just need to finalize a few things so yeah um back to maintaining composure so if i did not get the 1v3 basically i was talking about is i'd get mad and i think it's my fault where if you lose a 1v3 or something like that or even a 1v1 i know those might be like you might get really frustrated if you keep on losing 1v1s then just Forget about it, honestly. Just throw that round out. Forget about it. Don't ever refer to that run again. Just, like, skip it and move on. It's probably the best way to. And then just keep on going hard like you did the other rounds. That's basically was my problem. And that's how that sort of went to respawn. Is if I wasn't having a good gaming in the beginning or middle of Ghost, what would happen is I'm, I would, like, call out... Alright, no, stop calling out. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, I would stop calling out. Like, I would just play myself until I, like, turned back up and then I would start calling out. So, like, Ghost, I would either be, like, the loudest player or I wouldn't talk at all, which really is my fault. Like, I should have fixed that way sooner in Ghost, which I, I sort of think back on it. Uh, I know I made mistakes and stuff, but... So that's that's for me, and then I'm just gonna tell you guys like how other people I've seen lose composure, and like how I would recommend to maintain it. Um, so basically, how I'd recommend to maintain it is like what I said before: just forget about it, uh, just get them next time. Just say you're gonna fix your problem. If let's say you challenged a gunfight you shouldn't have and you got mad at yourself, just be like, yo yeah, guys, I'm I'm not, I'm gonna play back a, a little bit. I'm gonna play safe. I'm not gonna challenge that again. Or maybe pl uh, put on double nades or stuns. Just stun check two corners and make sure that like if you stun check a corner, you're winning that gunfight for sure. This game literally, if you stun a kid in a corner, oh he's not winning the gunfight. If you EMP him, he's not winning it. It's it's very simple. There's no way he's going to win that gunfight if he's stunned. But yeah. So back to another way I've seen people lose composure is yelling. Yelling's a big problem I've seen in the past with some of my with one of my teammates actually. That's how I that's that was the main reason is what would happen is if he lost a 1v1, oh, he what's not like he would co complain or yet or <laughs> he would yell. I don't know. I don't know what I said there. He said yeah, he would yell. So like 
he would just like scream he would blame us because quote unquote we wouldn't stay up where it's not the case which i really don't want to get into that whole like s and d roles right now uh, i'm planning if you guys want i can do some uh like s and d tips and stuff like that uh, yeah, I've been playing s and a lot since Ghost. In Ghost, I would literally, in the summer, i just, I'd probably play, like, a good, like, six hours of either wagers or, like, money s and one and duns and stuff like that. But, I just grinded that out, so, I mean, I'm pretty good with s and but I'm just gonna, like, give, like, a quick summary. I know I probably shouldn't do it, but I just want to do it. Like, uh, you have to have Bomb playing Aggress- no, but you have to have a bomb, and usually, generally, one of your sub slurs, he's going to play aggressive. It's more of not, like, it's more of a trade situation there, honestly. Like, he's either going to, like, I'm, that that's the role I usually play now. And what happens is, like, I'll either get it, I'll either get probably, I'll get either a two-piece, and that's it, and then you got a 4v2, or I'll get picked, like, I know on Optic, if you guys watch that, Crim6, does, I don't know if he does that anymore, I haven't watched his S&D recently, but in Columbus and before Columbus, that's how he played it. it it's a really, I, I like that, I like how they play it, like that. Like, what, what I wish he did, I don't know what I'm talking about Optic right now, is if you get a pick like that, what I, yeah, what I usually do is if I get a pick, uh, I'll back up, I'll just back up and we'll just play the 4v3. And then get bombed down, because if you get bombed down on 4v3 and just you can get set up and you won't lose that. So just what I'm basically just trying to tell you guys is to just forget about any mistakes you've made in the past. Your teammates really you should tell them if they do. Just forget about all mistakes you made. Really don't talk about them until after the game. If you guys made a mistake, don't talk about it in the game. Don't bring it up unless you have to. Unless it's like. You guys won't win the map if you don't bring it up. And then just talk about it after, how you can solve it. But yeah, that's what, that's what, it's good guys. And it's Copia and I'm out. Peace. Switching sides. Search and destroy. Defend the objective. Switching sides. Search and destroy. Destroy the objective.
Looks like you just added a few zeros to those bonus checks, gentlemen. Good work. <laughs>